Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. This week I have a very simple watercoloring tutorial for you and I will be sharing with you my what I call the blob method. Essentially you just make a bunch of blobs and after it dries you outline it with a gel pen and it's really just a foolproof way of incorporating watercolors into your bullet journal spreads. So for the watercolors, I'm using a custom palette with a mixture of Daniel Smith and Winsor & Newton watercolors. I also highly recommend this Sakura Koi watercolor set if you are a beginner. It has a lot of fun colors to play with and it's relatively affordable. As for the brush, I'm using a water brush. It is a very frayed one because I've had this one for quite a while. Um, basically what a water brush is, is <laughs> there is a, a compartment where you can twist open and fill it up with water. And this way, um, just with your finger pressure, you can squeeze out water. And this is really useful, especially if you like to paint very quickly or if you want to paint on the go so you don't have to bring a jug of water with you. Now I also do keep a jar of water nearby just so that it's a lot easier to wash off the tip and I don't have to squeeze it in order to do so. And one last material that I'll be using is a gel pen um, which will be for the very end when all of the watercolors dry. So I'm actually a really big fan of doing realistic landscapes and portraits with watercolors but especially during the school year, I simply just don't have the time so I kind of slowly developed this blob method whenever I had an itch to work with watercolors but didn't have the time to create a full illustration. So what I do is just think about an object that I want to draw, in this case a strawberry, and I just roughly make a blob in the shape of a strawberry, not really caring how precise it is and how realistic it looks. I did randomly leave some white spaces for the highlights and dropped in some more colors, but essentially it is just a blob. And then, as I mentioned before, at the very end, after everything dries, we are going to roughly outline everything with a gel pen. And the idea is that I think for most people, using a pen is a lot more comfortable, so you're able to get more details in um, as opposed to watercolors, at least in terms of difficulty. So yeah, um, that's literally all I do for the rest of the video. I'm just going to paint a bunch of blobs, and I will also insert little um, for example, color mixing tips on the screen so you can, I don't know, learn from it, I guess. I'm definitely not a professional. Um, so yeah, I will be back towards the end of the video with some outlining tips as well.
so I just finished drawing six fruits and um, I'm waiting for the paint to dry so I decided to do some fun hand lettering as well. The brush pen that I'm using is the Tombow Fidenosuke in the soft tip. For the outlining, I'm just using a Muji gel pen in 0.5. You can use whatever pens that you have on hand. And even with the outlining, I am extremely carefree with the line. As you can see, some of the colors are spilling outside of the lines and some of the colors are not touching the lines. And that's exactly the kind of effect that I want. And not only does it look cool, it's also a lot simpler than trying to make everything look super precise. So yeah, that's about it for this video. I hope that you are inspired to try out watercolors if you haven't already done so. It really doesn't have to be complicated unless you make it to be. So yeah, um, hope you have fun and I will see you next week with a plan with me. Bye everyone.